Hi, this is a demonstration for a digital deck VT510 video terminal. <clears throat> this unit comes with the original paper manual. Good condition. Comes with the original box that it came with. This is the packaging that it actually came wrapped in. This looks to have been stored and really not ever used. It's in very good condition. It comes with the swivel base. It appears to have never been used. Um, one thing of note on the swivel base, I noticed that there's these manufacturing marks, but that appear they kind of look like cracks, but they're not. They're just part of the manufacturing. You can see they don't go through. Same on this side. There's just uh, some markings, but it's just part of the plastic molding process. So, but it all looks to be in very good new, really new condition. It comes with the foam, all the foam that was originally shipped in. I think it's been stored in this box and in the bag for years and never really used. The unit itself is very clean. Here is the serial number and model number for reference. There's all the ports. There's also an additional port back here. So it all appears in very good physical condition. There's no yellowing. It's just kind of like a time capsule. It's in super great condition. So I'm going to power it up. The keyboard does not come with it. That's just for the demo purposes. But it takes like a, your standard PS2 type connection. So here's a self test OK. So if I hit the caps lock, start to get into some menus. And then there's your setup menu. And then you can move around with the arrow keys through the menus. I'm sure if you're watching this, you are very familiar with how this all works. One thing I noticed on the display is that if you go to screen background and you change this, Hitting the finger down, and then you it goes to a really bright, you know, it shows flickering, but it's not really flickering. It goes to really bright, and I cannot adjust it so that it's really very usable. So I'm not sure if the contrast and the brightness and all that is fully functional on this unit. Just for full disclosure here, I want you to understand. What I'm seeing, <clears throat> this unit is made in the mid '90s, so you know there could be, there definitely could be something that needs to be adjusted or replaced inside. I, I'm not familiar enough to say if it's working properly, 100%. So I'm going to pull it back into dark mode, but the screen itself in this mode appears to be working well. You know, it's clear, it's focused, everything like that. The flickering you're seeing is just on the video. It is not doing that in person. It's a, it's a solid screen. So anyway, there are brightness and contrast adjustments down here. 
But again, I cannot say that they are working totally. They do make some adjustments as you turn. You can see, you can see it get dimmer and brighter. So they did make adjustments, but it's very hard to know if it's all been it needs to be calibrated or needs to be worked on. Again, it's not flickering. That's just the video is not in sync with the screen. So anyway, please let me know if you have any questions. If you need me to do any further tests, I'll be happy to do that for you. Um, this unit is in super great shape. Uh, thanks for viewing.